What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazi Fitness. So let's start this video with the physique update of Nathan Diasio. So this marks the start of his prep for 2024 season and this is his peak off season. And you have got to agree with his coach Stefan that this is the best off season version of Nathan Diasio that we have ever seen. He is pushing beyond 290 pounds right now. He is in the high 290s range and he looks to be in a great off season condition as well. That body composition at this heavy of a weight, that is really incredible. So his coach was the one who convinced him to stay relatively linear during the off-season phase as well, so that he can have a more smooth prep. Although Nathan hasn't announced his next show, but there is a very high probability that he's gonna do Dubai Pro in July. And first of all, the reason is the prize money. And second of all, it's a chance to stand against some of the top competition of today. And we have to keep in mind, Nathan Diesha is that guy who loves to compete multiple times. And with the prize money going up for every single show in this calendar year, we can say this with absolute certainty that Nathan Diesha will again do multiple shows this year. And do not forget, his aim is to win 20 pro wins before he retires. And he has given himself only two more years to compete to stay in competitive bodybuilding. So he's gonna make sure that he makes some count. So Nathan is the guy who has the most professional wins right now in the current circuit of the pros. And that is 11 professional wins. So Nathan's reputation took quite a hit in that post-Olympia tour. Both those shows, Prague and Romania, they did not go as well as they would have hoped for. His plan was to give a fight to Samson Dauda and prove his worth. But not only did he lose to Baro Stabani, but he also lost to two debutants, to Bill Mosquera and Horsendi, which no one saw coming, no one expected that. But I do believe that Nathan could not peak 100% in either of those shows. He wasn't at his best. He was at his best in Italy and in Spain. And that is why it wasn't even close between him and the others, especially at Italy Pro. And even at Europa Pro Spain, where Regan Grimes won the show, most of the bodybuilding community had Nathan Diesha winning that show. And I'm not just talking about the bodybuilding fans. Majority of the pros had Nathan Diesha winning that show as well. So I can already see Nathan back on the stage in 2024, since this was a very well planned off season, unlike last year, when he was coming off of an injury. But this time he is dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's before starting the contest prep. So contrary to what many people believed, this is an old picture of Nick Walker, which has been posted multiple times before. But some people thought that it is six weeks out of the New York Pro. But in fact, you guys will be surprised to hear that this picture is from two years ago, back in 2021, before Nick Walker even won his first Orange Classic title. So I truly believe he is gonna be shockingly big and huge, not to mention freaky as well in 6 weeks time, when he finally steps back on a bodybuilding stage after a gap of 1.5 years at this year's New York Pro and hits that same pose. So let me show you guys what looks new on Nick Walker, him showing his nurse section after therapy and it seems like Nick Walker is also implementing a bit of a vacuum as well. Wouldn't that be a sight on the Olympia stage if Nick Walker does a vacuum just like Hadi Chopin and transitions into that crunched abs? That is definitely gonna be something. So Hadi Chopin clearly silenced all his critics that were constantly talking about his waist growing wider, his waist getting bigger, him getting blockier. And he was able to do that with the implementation of vacuum. So that I have to say is a good weapon to have to give an illusion of having a smaller waist and a better frame on the stage. And if Nick Walker can also do that, that can be a game changer. So Nick Walker has done so many great things since he turned pro. And maybe he will give this a try as well. Nevertheless, Nick is one of those guys who is very conscious about keeping his mirror section tight, keeping his waistline the same. And this is gonna be more crucial for him at the Olympia, since guys like Hadi Chupan and Derek Nesvat, guys who Nick Walker is chasing right now, both of these guys have great control over their mirror section. Not to mention guys like Sam Sandalda and Andrew Jack, who have superb waists as well. So what do you guys think? Nick Walker with a vacuum or crunch down apps? Do let me know in the comments below. So got a glimpse of how the beast Rolly Winkler looks like right now post retirement. So he has earned a very well deserved retirement but could Rolly have been better than what we saw from him at the Olympia 2018. That year when he placed top 3 at the Olympia and that was the highest placing of his entire career. Not to mention he also won the Arnold Classic in 2018 as well if I'm not mistaken. So I think 2019 was the best opportunity for Rolly Winkler to finally win that Mr. Olympia title to finally win that Sandow. Because if you guys remember, he was the highest placing guy at the Olympia 2019 from the previous year. 
So technically speaking, it was his show to lose. But sadly, he was way off in 2019. And his career just went downhill after that year. So in the current times, we talk about Michael Crystal, Nick Walker with the biggest arms. But do not forget the original beast, the true mass monster of the previous era, Rolly Winkler, who also have super bombs. One of the best we have ever seen in the history of bodybuilding. Certainly the best triceps ever. And it is really surprising that a guy like Rolly Winkler who had so much potential, he wasn't able to win a single Arnold Classic throughout his career. I am talking about the Arnold Classic Ohio. The Arnold that he won was the Arnold Australia if I'm not mistaken. So Rolly Winkler is about to turn 47 years old in June this year. And he will forever be mentioned as one of the crowd favorites and the freakiest bodybuilders of his era. Robert Thames with another update. Looking at his current shape, it is so clear that he wasn't just posting on the social media. He was bang on target with his diet plus training. Because that, I have to say, is a super block. Man, that upper body is absolutely mind-blowing. One of the best out there. Now, I have said this so many times before. If his legs, if his quads were as good as his upper half, Robert Thames could have been in that first callout. Probably would have been fighting for that Mr. Olympia title. Because there is just nothing missing when it comes to his upper half. His arms are great, his back is absolutely superb. One of the best in the division. And same goes for his chest as well. Now at this point, we can say with quite some certainty. Whenever we see a great physique like Robert Thames, a physique with a lagging body part, and that too in any division for that matter. It doesn't matter if it's classic, if it's men's open, if it's men's physique. When there is a lagging body part on a very good physique, that is because of genetics. Now, a certain someone can improve their body parts to a certain extent, with the advanced training, with the diet, but it's kind of playing catch up because the rest of the body is trying to grow, is trying to get bigger. So one of the guys who comes to mind who has made some tremendous improvements when it comes to having a weak body part, that is Tanner Stoffen in Classic Physique. Now compare his biceps from the Olympia where he made his debut, versus his past Mr. Olympia. He made some very good improvements. Now, I know quads are like half your body, and they are very difficult to bring up, especially when it's because of genetics. But still, Robert Thames is doing everything in his power to make sure that he creates somewhat of a balance between his upper and lower half, which he was able to do last year as well. Now, as far as his current look is concerned, he looks really great right now. And if this is the starting point of his prep, he's gonna be really shredded come stage time. But at this point, that is pretty much given. Whenever he steps on stage, his conditioning is always spot on. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.